So if if I'm in this state, then pretty much then I, what I'm hearing is like, I might as well just trust and get like behind everything that shows up. I mean, all right, this is what shows up. This is what shows up. I might be, this is what shows up. This is what shows up. Well, we understand your sentiment. I might as well, because, because I have no other it choice. It is what it is, right, I'm right. I have no other choice. But if I understand that I have the choice of satisfaction or not, satisfaction or not, many of you have been listening to us for a while you've heard this analogy but it's the best one for you to get this point point. and getting this point right here right now is the beginning of all good things for you and we're not kidding even a little esther remembers still her first awareness of the hills in san francisco they had rented a car esther was driving she could not believe the hills that people were driving on there so when we gave her this analogy, it was very meaningful to her because she remembered what those hills looked like. We said, imagine you're at the top of a hill and you look down, 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 down. And there's the bay straight road, right into the bay. Esther saw roads like that. Imagine sitting on the top of that hill and you decide just for the sake of human exploration, that you will see what would happen if you took your car out of gear and released all the braking systems and just pushed it toward down. Just nudge it. Won't take much because gravity will take over. So let's just see. It's a rental. <laughs> let's just see what happens. So you just nudge it a little, but then you stop because you are wise enough to know what's going to happen because you know about inertia and you know about gravity and you know what's going to happen. So you decide, never mind. you step out in front of it and it just bumps up against you softly and you stop that car right where it is. You wouldn't want to be at the bottom of the hill trying to stop that car. So this is what we want you to hear from that. When you stand on this fulcrum where satisfied or unsatisfied is that's like being at the top of that hill when it's really easy it can go any way you decide for it to go but you can in the early stages of thought you can encourage them or you can stop them you can encourage them or you can choose another thought but if you let the momentum get going even a little bit then you lose that control and it isn't until you meditate and quiet your mind or have a good night's sleep or some other sort of intervention happens where your subject is really changed that you can change the direction of your thought. Most people don't use that beneficial moment in time, satisfied or not, satisfied or not. And that's why we encourage Esther to begin playing the game. She's in her vehicle. She's driving. Her mind is sort of trolling around thinking about different subjects and she will find a subject and then she will ask herself satisfaction. And if it is, then she will focus on it and let it grow into more and more and more momentum so that she has a really wonderful thought process while she drives that often even leads to some sort of interaction with some other who's on her vibrational wavelength, which makes her feel so blessed and so loved and so powerful in her deliberate creation. And if it feels not satisfying and she's right there aware that it go either way, she can choose something that feels more satisfying or she can distract herself by changing the music station.